So you found a great lead and identified the best person to talk to about the recruitment strategy. Everything is going great until the conversation just stops. Your prospect isn't picking up the phone or answering your emails and it feels like you're never going to get that relationship moving again. So what do we do? It's time for a reality check. Prioritise and parking your leads is important. Quickly establish how likely it is for you to turn this relationship around. If the relationship is stuck and you can't move it forward, just park it and be honest with yourself here. But if there's a chance you can move it forward, prioritise it and focus on what you need to do to create a positive outcome for you and your prospect. And remember to always be targeting. This is one of my favourite tips for moving along deals in your pipeline. Have you established enough points of contact with this lead? Do you know who your decision maker is? And have you connected with these contacts on a social level? Whatever space your contacts frequent online, whether it be LinkedIn, Twitter, and so on, connect with them. What's the worst that can happen here? You see updates of what Bob, the hiring manager at company A, is up to on a business and a personal level? How could we possibly use this information to our advantage and help develop our sales relationship with Bob? Which takes me to engaging. I mean, there is only so many I'm just checking in emails or phone calls one can do. And this isn't the best way to engage with your prospects. So what is and how do we use it to create momentum in our sales pipeline? Why not congratulate Bob on landing that new contract just mentioned on the company LinkedIn page or the news section on their website? Or comment on that tweet that Bob has just shared highlighting the struggle for STEM graduates this year. You might just find some common ground for discussion, which will only help you foster a great relationship with Bob. And please don't forget to add value. If you're good enough, which I'm sure you are, to have identified your client's challenges, use it. Try sending some content to Bob. You don't have to be an award-winning writer or even share your own content. Just make sure that it's relevant to what your prospect is struggling with and always have a clear outcome in mind. I know one of the first instincts as a recruiter is to pick up the phone, but before you know it, you've called 10 times, left by voicemails, and that's not taking into account the emails you've been sending in between. This isn't going to help you close that deal or add value. You're one call away from a restraining order, if anything. So try taking a step back and taking advantage of these other ways to reach out to your clients and let me know how you get on.